going on guys? Joe with OMGRC here. So today I go ahead and uh, take a, a Power Wheels, make it into an RC car. So let's get started. <laughs> Winner. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this thing real quick. Um, it is beta, more or less, because I'm just put it all together. I picked it up today as far as the car goes, and then I just kind of put everything in there, trying to figure out the steering and everything like that. So just bear with me on that one, just kind of keep in mind. Anyway, uh, as far as the electronic speed controller, just a little hex fly, which is just a, well, it's a hex fly. From um, Red Cat is what it came in like a Gen's Ace. Anyway, I'm running on a 2S. Lipo Gen's Ace 5000 milliamp. Now, as far as I have a receiver that's in here, the receiver is a Traxxas, but it has it has two two channel one, so that way you can run two servos at the same time. So more like for your uh, E Revos or your um, what am I else am I thinking? The Summit, other stuff that comes from Traxxas like that. All right. So onto this stock motor, it's a 550 that's in there. As far as that motor goes. Still running the electronic, the uh, stock battery, but it's only powering because it's got two harnesses. So this harness would just be for the motor. Uh, so I do have it so I can run my accessories, like again, the headlights and things like that. So let's show you that. Pretty cool. And then the headlights. So the headlights still work on it as well. All right. So yeah, pretty simple on that. Now, I've seen other people, and I've done it before too, where you can put 12 volts to this. It's gonna put a lot of stress on that poor little thing. Not so much, I'm worried about the motor, it's the actual transmission. Now, this is only a one wheel uh, driven, so there's no, it's not a rear, it's not two wheels driving it. So again, if you put a lot of power to it, it's just gonna spin that wheel or break that tra little transmission. So I'm just keeping it simple, uh, but really fun. Let me go ahead and turn this thing off. But yeah, let me go ahead and show you underneath. Again, not pretty, but I'm not done with it. So it's gonna be ugly, but I don't care. <laughs> Cause it's fun. All right, so these cables that are running right here are for the motor. Now, if I was running a lot more, if I was running a powerful motor, I'd be concerned because that, that wire would probably heat up or it would definitely heat up. But in this case here, not running for very long. 
and I'm not running a lot of power through it, so it should be fine. Again, I'm not running in this all the time. But anyway, those are the two servos. I just, whatever I had, and you just, this what I had is what I had, and that is that. Anyway, I disconnected the steering. That way there's less stress, and that way each wheel, front wheel, uh, has its own individual servo. Now they're not matched or anything like that, and again, it's just one of those things where, um, on the fly, just kind of putting something together. I was just excited just to put one of these together and drive it, so or control it, I should say. So yeah, I'm definitely stoked with it. I think it's pretty cool. I know there's other RC, there's these other, um, I think there's other companies that make these kind of like that, but honestly, I paid like 25 bucks and then it was just whatever parts I had lying around. So I'm not in it other than 25 bucks and if you consider the other stuff that I already had. So not a big thing, not a very expensive little project to do. Loads of fun and it was cool to see my dog on there actually driving it. So very cool, I like it. It puts a smile on my face. Actually, my, uh, some of the neighbors came out too. were like, what the heck? When they saw my dog driving the car. So they're like, is that an RC car? I was like, yeah, man, just put this thing together. So it's pretty dope. But anyway, that is where it's at. Uh, you'll see more of it. I don't know if I'm gonna make it faster, but uh, I'll make it better anyhow, as far as the steering on it and everything like that. Fine tune it, you know, clean things up on it. But really cool. Yeah, I thought it was really cool too, just because of the fact that I have another Audi. That's the R8, this is the GT Spider, And then we have the Audi R8. So definitely cool. Definitely digging the two cars anyhow. So won't be getting rid of this one because it's definitely a fun thing to do. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching as always. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time. Also, uh, before I get going here, all right, just want to give a big shout out to my wife and my dog for helping me out. Definitely appreciate it. Love you guys. Anyway, um, when it comes to this, this thing was definitely a fun little project and I, obviously I have more to do on it, but it was definitely cool. And some of the neighbors came out and were wondering, you know, saw my dog driving the car. It was hilarious and, uh, you know, got some comp compliments on it too. So yeah, definitely cool project. So if you guys run across one of these little power wheels or whatever, maybe your kid's outgrown it, but hey, if you're in the hobby, maybe you turn it into an RC car, right? Until next time, this is Joe with OMG RC. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also check out our website at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. And until next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching.